Hi, this is Andy with wristadvisor.com, and today we have a very special hands-on review. Today, we're taking a look at the IWC Portugieser Chronograph Edition, and this is the new one that has been released with the new movement. So I'll take this out of the box for you guys. And uh, to start this review, I want to talk about my own experience with this watch. A couple years ago, uh, I almost purchased this. There were some reasons that I didn't, but I instead went with the Datejust 41. And, you know, what really drew me to this watch was its classic timeless look. I mean, obviously, that's kind of my taste. I mean, I went with the Datejust. Uh, you know, these two are kind of in the same class with that. Um, but this watch is just absolutely beautiful, super comfortable, uh, great manufacturer, great brand. But the reason why I went with the Rolex instead of the IWC was because until last year, this watch still had an outsourced Valju movement. Um, with the release of this in 2021, it was given the in-house caliber, the 69355 which is something that is done in-house, like I said, by IWC. And in my opinion, it took a little bit long to be able to get this, considering the watchmaking abilities of IWC. So when this came out, uh, you know, my ears immediately peaked up. And I think it was about six or seven months after I bought the Datejust. So let's get this watch in focus for you guys so you can just see how elegant and how timeless this is. And this has not changed, uh, to my knowledge, since its inception. Um, maybe some slight modifications to uh, the case, but the dial, I think, has stayed exactly true to when this was released um, decades ago. So enough of holding it. Uh, let's put it on the wrist because I know a lot of you guys like to like to watch these videos for that. Um, but before I do that, I want to tell you guys, you know, if you like this video, if you like what we're doing, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It really does help us get hands on with more of these pieces. I want to thank the guys at Moyer Fine Jeweler for lending us this watch for a couple of days to be able to get a hands on experience so we can be able to do a review for you. So as you can see, I have a seven inch wrist and I've already adjusted this to be able to fit the wrist comfortably for me. But as you can see, it looks really, really, really nice. And uh, you know, for me personally, I've never bought in a luxury watch with a leather band. I know a lot of people will only do that. Some people will say, you know, always get the steel bracelet. This does have an option to come with the steel bracelets, but uh, you know, honestly, you know, a guy that's always been buying steel bracelets, I would do this one in the leather. I think it's how it should come. Um, I see why I do, IWC did the uh, metal bracelets uh, to be able to get more of those buyers to come into this watch. But the way this is, is just absolutely amazing. As you can see, we have the gold indices right here. This comes in a couple different variations. Um, we have, um, or I guess you'll, you'll have the ability to purchase these with the hour markers being blue instead of gold. Uh, even though I do like the gold look better for the indices, it does make telling time in low light situations or or even something that's not ideal a little bit harder because there's not much of a contrast in certain lights between the dial and the indices. Uh, but the blue, I think, would solve that really well. Now, on this, you're not going to have any loom. It's not a sports watch. It's a dress watch. So, you know, if that's something that's important to you, you're not going to get that with this watch. But I think legibility is uh, you know, in, in lighting situations, legibility is going to be a plus plus for you. So let's get into some more uh, features of the dial. As, as you can see, the six o'clock position, we have the running seconds. And at the 12 o'clock, we have the 30 minute chronograph. So I'm going to be quiet so you guys can hear this because I, I know that's a popular thing on the swatch. So here we go. And reset it. Perfect. Feels really good. Um, I don't know if you're going to pick this up, but even when you hear the winding, I mean, everything, you know, some certain watches just have a, a feel of luxury. And this IWC Portuguese or chronograph definitely, definitely has that. So I'm going to take it back off and, and uh, hold it up to the camera to get you some different angles on it. But uh, and it is just absolutely stunning. Uh, I might be biased on this because this is something I've always had 
my eyes on and, and look on the lookout for. And now that it has an in-house movement with it, and I don't think that the price increase was was that large, if there even was one. So, it, you know, it, and that's all I'm not sure of. So if you guys know uh, the answer to that, please uh, do a comment below um, so the readers can see, you know, if there was an increase with this movement. Uh, but yeah, let me get this in focus. I am going to try to get you a look of it. As you can see, the Sapphire case back takes up most of the back of the watch. And we have a very beautiful finish on this with a self-winding rotor you can see right there. Absolutely stunning. So on this movement, we have a 46 hour power reserve. We have 27 joules. Um, like I said, it's an automatic self-winding. The case itself has a three bar water resistance. Uh, we have a diameter of 41 millimeters and a height of 13 millimeters. So it definitely falls within that classic dress watch uh, dimensions, but it could be worn with a, a t-shirt really if you wanted to. You know, I am a, a firm believer that, uh, you know, dress watches aren't only for business attire. Um, and nowadays you can pull them off in casual settings. And I think that you could wear this um, with a lot of different outfits, a lot of different looks and wear it in a lot of different situations and be able to get away with this. So the price point on this watch is um, $7,950 for this reference. There are some in precious metals that are obviously more, but not as much as what you would expect. Um, at this price point, I think that this is a very, very, very quality watch. Um, you know, compared to the date just that at the time that I bought this at MSRP, it was, I think, like $7,650. So uh, very, 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 very close to the same. Now, obviously, the Rolex is going to have a higher resale value because right now every Rolex is a collectible. Not every IWC is. Um, but you're still going to be able to... Uh, really hold uh, not all of the value but uh, most of the value on this watch especially if you're if you have the ability to buy it at any type of a discount so uh to end the review uh, i always talk about who is the best person to be able to buy this watch um, i know we just had father's day but uh you know i i think this would be great for um the dads out there i mean the guys out there that are, are working hard to provide for their families, uh, especially in more of like a white collar situation where you can wear this to work and you can wear it every day. You can look down, you can think about your kids. It can motivate you to, to go that extra step in, in your profession, get that promotion or, or, or you know, anything that, that you need to do to move the family forward. Um, you know, these are great reminders of that. So, um, again, guys, thanks for following me on this journey. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And then if you like the channel, uh, please give it a subscribe. It really does help. So, again, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video.